Okay, uh, I have a few uh, quantification toys here set up. Uh, right now we're looking at the uh, HP 5245L uh, electronic counter in storage mode, so it behaves uh, like a standard frequency counter. Um, time base is uh, one second. And it's being fed uh, by a SIGGEN, the uh, HP652A test oscillator. I've got a T on the 50 ohm output. Uh, one side is just going to an alligator clip lead up to a Radio Shack mini amplifier speaker, amplified speaker. This is a very good audio test set. It's really useful. It comes in handy for all sorts of radio testing and just general electronics around the laboratory. They're inexpensive. It's always good to pick up something like this and you can get these from all sorts of manufacturers. Um, you don't even need one watt. This, I believe this one's 700 uh, milliwatts. So I have the gain turned down right now on that. I've got a few other toys up here. Um, on the uh, LCD scope we've got 500 Hertz showing with the markers set. So it seems like on this scope, uh, I need to go back to the manual, but it looks like it can't show graticules and markers at the same time. I'm not sure why that is, but um, I could be incorrect in this. But anyway, I think it's pretty clear uh, that the scope is agreeing with the frequency counter, which is good news to me. Um, and then a couple other tools up here. And you have a, a clamp meter and a pretty basic uh, DMM, which I may or may not get to. But what I wanted to show you with this video is uh, what it sounds like when you sweep through audio frequencies uh, with a SIGGEN. So let's go ahead and turn this up. Switch down to the lower range. Try to get up to about 60 hertz. It's close enough. Now, <clears throat> at this point, we could change change the amplitude, or we could just up the gain on the audio. Pretty, Some of you might recognize approximately uh, AC mains power line frequencies. Now we're back up close to 100 hertz. However, we cut the let me cut the gain down. Now, getting close to the, closer to the ultrasonic range. It's starting to hurt my ears at this point. Don't know if this is coming in on the... Don't know if this is making it to the video camera or not. Extremely painful. So let's cut it back down to the... Uh, line subline frequencies okay so so around 53 54 Hertz go back up to the scope cut this down change the time but let's see get rid of the markers
getting in my own light. So take marker two. And we're seeing approximately 54. Oops. Seeing approximately 54 hertz. So in the process of checking this HP for uh, good calibration, you know, it's still looking good. And it agrees with my Electro Tech frequency counter, which has been seen in at least one other video. And uh, that's good news for the Electro Tech. So at this point, uh, I think I'm beginning to trust the HP despite its age. Um, you know, the quality stands the test of time in this case. Now, uh, this time interval unit, the uh, 5262 uh, something that I haven't, uh, uh, I, I skimmed through the manual and I realized just on, on one run through that I'm going to need to, I'm going to need to read that quite a bit more. I, I may just have the service manual only, that uh, could be the problem, but in any case, uh, just wanted to show uh, what you could do with the uh, with a little little audio test set. It's very easy to make or uh, procure. That's it for this video.